Hi guys and welcome back. This is part three of our book wrap up for 2022. Before we dive in, I would like to introduce myself. I am Davina, the founder and creative director of Shade Magazine. And I'm Shade, the editor-in-chief. So yeah, part three. So if you haven't seen part one and part two, please head on um, on our channel and have a look because there's some really good books that we have spoken yeah. about that we have read and received. So today's video, we'll be talking about educational ones that we thought was educational and really good. Um, so without further ado, let's go on. So our first educational book is How to Stay Safe Online by Shayi Akiwowo. Um, finally got to interview her. She's absolutely amazing. Um, I think this is a really important book. I'm glad she did it. This is Shay's first book. Um, she is the founder of Glitch, which is a charity making digital space safe for all by ending online abuse. And she's made this book and I feel like it's for everyone, especially like with Shade's age, um, about your digital footprint, um, how you can say safe, safe online, safe, I said safe again, safe online. <laughs> We'll get there in the end. Um, safe online, um, just lots of different things. Boundaries, um, how to build an online platform. We had a really good conversation. Again, you can find her interview online and then you can also find her interview in our print issue, which is our fashion edition. And um, it was really interesting to speak about this. And Shade and I often talk about digital footprint and how we should portray ourselves on, um, online. And even with Shade Magazine, there's certain things that we do and don't and that we appreciate and we don't appreciate. And we make sure that it is safe because we have young readers going on, looking at our content. So we have to make sure that that's all good and readable and that there's nothing that we're doing out of the norm. But um, as a parent, I would recommend this. So our next book is all about cash, all about cash, really good, and it's called Cash is Queen. So this is written by Davinia Tom Nelson and it's illustrated by Andrea Ortev. Again, we had these special guests on our blog, we had an interview and then also in our latest 10th issue. You can find the interview on there. Um, so this is a really good book by Davinia. I'm so glad we got our hands on this and that we got a chance to interview her as well because I think it's really important that we talk about cash um, any age as soon as they're like from primary school, right up, um, boys and girls, and just being an expert when it comes to money. Um, this is such an excellent um, book. It talks about empowerment. Um, for young girls as well and right up to adulthood um making sure they've got positive financial habits mm -hmm. but throughout it's just especially the illustrations by andrea it's just lovely because even though it's kind of like a guide and a how-to it's very like colorful and there's mm -hmm. like quizzes quite, inside yeah quite trendy sorry and it also gives various examples of what to do so for example we mentioned quizzes so and um, there'll be examples of the good decision and the bad decision and reading this book you'd use your knowledge throughout the pages to figure out what you should do in this type of situation when it comes to using money efficiently yeah and it talks about everything like it doesn't just talk about saving money it talks about loans it talks about mortgages it talks mm -hmm. about <laughs> yeah. businesses it literally talks about everything and i just think that this is a good gift practical gift for a young girl as it says here a girl's guide to securing spending and stashing, stashing cash. cash awesome oh our next one is all about the planet and this book will save the planet a climate justice primer for activists and change makers so this is written by danny sigwald and illustrated by Uri aurelia sorry dumond nice um really great book um i love anything that educates about the planet and how we can mm -hmm. save it the ecosystem too. yeah sustainability all of that's really great and um again it's a lovely colorful book that talks about identity and um the climate and how to keep safe yeah household and corporations pretty much quite like capitalism 
um, money. Um, climate stories. Yeah, climate. climate stories. I mean, just everything that you can think. It's a very good, like, how-to kind of, mm. or informational book, really. Um, so we thought this was a really good book to be in anyone's collection. And then we go on to my fave because I do like Handice and she is a friend of Shadow Magazine as well. And she has collaborated with Elizabeth and they have done a beautiful like kind of textbook, a small textbook. And it's the story of Britain's black airmen. It's really good. And um, just a bit more history. As you know, Candice, Candice, sorry, is um, known for her history, um, especially British history. And she... Um, has done quite a few books, one on the Windrush, and then she's also done the story of um, Afro hair. Um, and they are featured, Elizabeth and Candice are featured in our 10th issue, which is out now, just out now. And we've had a really lovely conversation with them both about yeah. their journey and their stories. And I just think that Elizabeth's illustrations are absolutely amazing. She's been an our featured artist. Um, one of our magazines before and I just think that her work is such a classic yeah the way she depicts um the each of the British airmen is very um it's very detailed and very observant too yeah and um I would definitely recommend getting this just for any history history budding reader or just anyone in general it's very educational really short but it, it tells you exactly what has happened within the stories of um british black airmen it's really good i think definitely recommend and then we go on to we've got two of these well there's actually a collection of um four and it's the black curriculum and they have um put together a series of books we've got here migration journeys through black um, history and we also have places important sites in British black in black British history yeah again a collection of four books we've got two of them and they have been illustrated and um, by various artists and written by various um, writers which is really nice so there's a different aspect from different um, creators and I just think it's lovely. It's so glad. I'm so glad that they've um, got a book collection. They've also got a podcast out as well, which is quite nice. Um, so that's really nice. So they've got like a rounded, like kind of platform, which mm -hmm. is quite nice. And the books are really awesome. Um, again, really educational and very um, bite sized I think. I think they're like really bite sized I think they're not full on, and you can always like go on. And research more if you want yeah i quite like these ones they're very like bite size go off and do a bit more research but yeah i would um definitely recommend those we've got two of these but there are four in total but yeah and then the next one do you want to see this one um so this is be beautiful um it is by um shalina jan muhammad and it's illustrated by Shantae Timothy. Yeah, Shantae is um, a friend of Shadow Mag as well. So this book is basically about confidence, celebrating differences and basically just positive affirmations on ways to express yourself and feel about yourself. Um, this book is very creative. It shows how um, you should love yourself and how you are unique as a person. And there's also different things um which um which draw back to you basically yeah and um the color the illustrations are beautiful as well and this one says the one and the only one so you are literally the only one and you are unique um very positive affirmations throughout mm. a bit of history as well and um lots of storytelling as well but this is a really good one i think really good and then we go to our next one. So the next one is Black Girls Unboxed. Unboxed. Unboxed sorry, mm -hmm. Unboxed. Um, this is by Christy Lauren Adams. Um, it's quite a very, it's a book that expresses emotions and it's quite a powerful, has um, a beautiful message behind it. It's quite, um, it's quite out there and mm. punctual. Yeah, it's all about young world changes leading the way 
um, again, it talks about like mental health, environmental issues, um, positive as well, um, how to speak up, um, have your say about music, art, really all rounded, really yeah. quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, really recommend that one. And our very last one, not sure how you, if you could see it because it's going to be um, very, quite yeah, quite reflective, but I'll put an image on the side. But Africana is so beautiful. It's literally an encyclopedia of an amazing continent, um, all about Africa. Mm. Really lovely, written by... It's written by Kim Jaconesta and it's illustrated by Mayowa Alex. Yeah, really cool. Um, beautiful and big. Another another snapshot of history. This one is People and Cultures of East Africa. Sorry, Shadow. Um, and yeah, it's just got lovely illustrations and bite-sized information. But um, this is a really good one, I think. Mm. Really beautiful. Just the cover as well alone and the back. A really a nice one and that is it on educational books i hope you really enjoyed this video please don't forget to watch part one and part two and until next time bye